Good morning, hi, I'm Pam Stiddy here live this morning with Mindful Moments, the Stay Connected project with Art Corp. So I'm bringing you the very best of uh, mindful advice as well as life advice. So um, just bear with me one second, I'm just going to share this video. Make sure everybody can access this. I'll check that we're broadcasting live at the moment. So very good morning to you. I'm here at Art Core today. My name is Pam Studio, I'm a mindfulness life coach, and we are bringing you the second instalment of uh, Mindful Moments with the Stay Connected Project here in Derby. So um, how have you got on over the last week? If you're watching right now, then be sure to write some comments and let me know how um, you're getting on. Did you find last week useful? Well, we've had lots of positive feedback from people talking about how they did find it really useful and uh, that they've even been practicing uh, some of the techniques that we discussed. So we're going to be bringing you some more top, top tips today. So one of them, of course, you may have heard this, is eat your 10 a day. Now, if you're thinking, hang on, where does this 10 a day come from? Wasn't it five a day? Well, you know what? The government advice is always changing. But, um, you know, the mantra seems to be eat that five a day to maintain a healthy diet. Um, we actually suggest eating 10 a day of that colourful fruit and veg. So it's about eating the rainbow. I mean, who's heard about eating the rainbow here, which is where you're, you know, making sure that you've got all the colours of the rainbow there on your plate um, when you go to eat, making sure that you're getting that full nutritional intake. Now, it's important when we're looking at our diet and looking at how our diet is affecting our energy levels, that we are also incorporating lots of life force food. And this is where that, um, you know, the, making sure that we've got enough fruit and veg comes into it because it's packed with life force. Now, of course, if we're eating organic, it's even better um, because it is um, also um, showing that um, we're taking in even more nutrients. You know, there's no fertilizers on there. Um, if we can find locally produced food as well, it's even better. Now, some of you may have been saying, you know, might be thinking, well, hang on, that's a little bit much. Well, you know what, whatever we can do is always a step in the right direction. So I think to myself, you know what, where am I at myself? You know, am I getting that 10 a day in? Am I eating the life force foods? What can I do to improve my diet? Because we can always do things to improve our diet. I mean, if we look at the way people were eating, you'd say a hundred years ago, was completely different to the way, we, the way we're eating now. Now, when I went and did my nutritional diploma, one of the things that um, our teachers said to us is, the way you're eating now, is that the way your grandparents would have eaten? You know, if we're thinking about the way they would have eaten, they were eating more real food. You know, when we're going shopping, are we buying real food? Um, are we buying food that's packed with nutrients? Are we cooking fresh? I mean, there was a time when people were like growing food. They knew where the food had come from. They were sourcing that food. They were cooking and eating that food. Of course, you know what times have changed. We're not able to do that as much anymore. Um, and it's, you know, it, 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 I, I've only recently um, actually started um, even growing my first um, bout of veg, which has just happened here in this lockdown where I thought, you know what, let's go for that experience as well. But there's lots that we can do. Um, so even things like, you know, if you're thinking about starting to grow your own, um, go for the lettuce. You know, it's quite an easy thing to do. You can just scatter seeds for the lettuce and, and other vegetables as well. I mean, I have just planted for the very first time something called cucumber melon. Now, it's absolutely amazing. And I thought it's something that I'd try with my young children because um, they look quite, quite um, interesting because they grow like tiny little melons, but they actually taste like cucumbers. And I, you know, I remember putting this seed in this in this pot of soil thinking, hang on, is this even going to go the right way? I'd spoken to other people and they said, you know what, the pointy side needs to be this way or that way and you've got to do it in this way or that way. But I was incredibly amazed at how easy it was because at a week to 10 days after planting this seed, um, the shoots began to grow. It's so easy. Um, so if you're able to do it, you know, do 
um, scatter those uh, seeds for the lettuce. Um, you can go for other veg as well. Now I'm just seeing if I can share this video now to um, my profile as well to get some of you on board and interacting. Um, I don't want people to be saying afterwards, hey Pam, we missed that video. So uh, in the meantime, you know, please do post up your comments and tell me what have you actually been um, planting? Have you planted anything? Have you done anything like that in this time? Or, um, you know, um, are you going for um, a local allotment, a local farm shop? Of course, things are starting to open and back up again. How are you actually eating at the moment? And have you found through this pandemic that you're starting to make healthier lifestyle choices? Now, another healthy lifestyle choice is getting enough sleep. Now, we all love a late night watching the latest, you know, box set or whatever might be on there on Netflix. Um, but why not keep that for a treat rather than a daily occurrence? Because when we're filling our minds with lots of information, and yes, even when we're watching something on the telly, we're still taking in lots of information. That mind can just be overloaded and it can be harder to get that good night's sleep. So if you're finding that you're getting, um, you know, less sleep than you would like, um, it's, inter it's interrupted sleep, you know, it's broken sleep where you're actually waking up quite a lot in the night, um, then, you know, there might be a few of these techniques that could just help you right now that I'm going to go through. So one of them would be to stay off technology about an hour at least um, before going to bed. So that's, you know, coming off social media, not binge watching on Netflix and just allowing ourselves that time to just unwind and clear the mind because all day long we're taking in all this information and it's got even more so over the last few months because I've had a lot of my clients coming to me and saying Pam you know what I'm finding it harder to sleep because of the situation of the pandemic uh, because of all of the news bulletins all of the updates um, the fear and uh, surrounding um, the pandemic people have lost loved ones and um, people have been struggling through lockdown um, and they're finding that it's affecting their sleep. So what can we do about this? Well, bringing it back to the news, first of all, you know what, just go for those main updates. Don't be sat there all day watching the news because the information that's going into the deeper part of your mind may be playing on the mind then later on when you're trying to get that sleep. So just watch those main bits that you need to see on the news. Um, you know, maybe one or two updates a day, no more than 20 minutes at a time and try and avoid doing it, you know, just before bed in case there is some shocking news out there when you're not taking in that information just before bed. Um, another thing that you can be doing is um, practicing what I call the five senses. And we went through this last week as well, as you go in about your day. So what you're doing is you're going about your day is you're using your five senses to just bring yourself into the moment constantly thinking, what can I see? What can I hear? What do I feel? What do I taste? What do I smell? And when we do this, the mind starts to unwind. It starts to empty. It comes into the moment. It's not that we're going to have a completely empty mind, but we're running less thoughts in our mind um, because we're thinking about what's actually happening right here in front of us rather than something that's happened, something that's going to happen. We're here now. And when we're doing this through the day, it does affect our sleep pattern on a night because as a result of using our five senses, we tend to relax the body as we're going through our day. And the more we can relax the body as we're going through our day, the more the body is relaxed when it comes to sleeping. Now also, you know, things like top tips, things like taking a warm bath, you know, things that we can do to help ourselves relax. Um, having that warm cup of hot milk also helps. Um, and meditation you know i can't um express enough how useful meditation can be there's so many guided meditations that are available on youtube sleep meditations that are available on youtube um that um you know are free available to watch whether it's sleep meditation music whether it's actually listening to a guided meditation sometimes there's meditations that will go on for a few hours there's so much there on youtube and it's completely free now i'm actually on youtube as well under pam sidhu and i've done two meditations on there one is a body scan meditation and the other one is a meditation of accessing our five senses as we're going through the day so if we're accessing our five senses as we're going through the day, as I mentioned, this can help with sleep. 
the body scan meditation can help with sleep because imagine you're lying in bed at the end of a busy day the mind can still be worrying but what we're doing through a body scan meditation is actually focusing on all the different body parts focusing on all the different parts using our mind by starting with our feet moving it to our ankles our calves our thighs and so on working our way up through our body of actually consciously relaxing that part of the body now have you ever noticed if you're feeling stressed or if you're feeling um, tense that the muscles can tense up well just in the same way we can relax those muscles and as we go through the body scan meditation we're going through every single body part to actually relax those muscles to relieve any stress or tension and you can even just have the intention that you're releasing the day that you're actually going to release the day and have a good night's sleep so um, you know that's definitely worth taking a look at there now also um, another top tip another top health tip that I would give you right now is boost your immune system there's a lot we can be doing to get a good working functioning immune system today more than ever it's something that we need to be looking at to make sure that our immune system is working well so you know there's different things that we could be doing about to boost our immune system to get ourselves as healthy as possible so one thing is um, vitamin C um, you know it's getting the right vitamins in so first of all vitamin C you know it's in fruit and veg um, it's um, widely available and whether you're taking it in a supplement form or whether you're taking it from the main um, fruit and veg that you're eating um, vitamin D is in sunlight however you know they found that a lot of vitamin D levels can be low in people so it's always a good idea to take that as a supplement as well zinc is another great thing for a good um, immune um, system immune system response zinc is very good to also um, take um, but um, you know talking about the sunshine and vitamin D it's quite good to even just take that 20 minutes to relax in the Sun if we're able to so that in fact helps our well-being incredibly now I know for those of you that are watching right now in the UK we are talking about British weather here so you know it might be rain one minute and um, shine the next but if you can catch that 20 minutes of sunlight um, it's worth it um, in terms of the effect that it has on our well-being now another great thing is um, to exercise of course exercise is imperative for a good healthy working body um, you know to, to give that immune system um, that helping hand so they do say that 20 minutes of exercise to the point of perspiration three times a week is recommended but I would say you know what why not do more than that um, exercise I found for myself not only has that physical benefit but it also has that mental benefit of clearing out those thoughts of giving me clarity of mind um, once I finish a workout well, there's many different ways we can exercise whether you choose to take a walk if you do take that walk then are you mindfully walking when you're walking be sure to be aware of what you can see what you can hear what you can feel what you can taste and what you can smell so that you're really present and relaxing as you're walking and you're going through that walk so one of the things that I do is I'm always aware of feeling my feet on the floor hearing the birds feeling the breeze being aware of the taste and the smells that are around me seeing the vividness of the colors that are around so um, that's a great thing to do also weights weight training is another great form of um, exercising and getting the body even stronger so say for example if you just if you choose to you know train the bicep um, I found it's a lot more effective to um, be training for example the bicep then lifting that weight if you're thinking about that muscle rather than watching a screen or you know thinking about something else rather than letting the mind go elsewhere focus on the muscle that you're training and as you do that I found that I personally am able to maybe even lift a slightly heavier weight than I would have been able to do beforehand but plus it's another form of meditation it's a way of bringing yourself into the moment and using exercise to do that because meditation simply means to be present to be here now um, so if you're focusing on your muscle when you're exercising even if you've been I'm, I'm back here at art court with the stay connected project for mindful moments now this is part two of today's session um, 
we had a few technical hitches. Let's just let's just uh, leave it at that. But um, yes, bringing you the second instalment of uh, Mindful Moments this morning. So we'll just wait for a couple of people to come online. So uh, we've got more of an audience here. Um, if you've got any questions uh, from anything that I've covered in the first session, then please do, um, you know, feel free to um, post them in the comments. And while you do that, I'm just sharing this video so that it can access and reach hopefully help as many people as possible. There we go. So a very good morning to you. I'm Pam Studio. and perhaps you're not watching this uh, in the morning. Maybe you're watching it back a little bit later on. So this morning, uh, so far in part one, we've covered, you know, eating your 10 a day, getting adequate sleep and boosting your immune system. Well, you know what? I'd like to go on to a good mental diet now. It's important to have that clean mental diet. So what does this mean? So we all know, we've all heard about how important it is to have um, a good physical diet, um, you know, to be eating clean. We've covered that as well already in the session earlier on. But what does it mean to have a good, clean mental diet? Well, you know what? What are we actually thinking? What thoughts are running through our minds? Are they helping us or are they hindering us? Are they good for us or are they negative thoughts? You know, maybe we've had negative experiences that have been stored there in the mind, but then we keep running those negative experiences today in the moment rather than being present in the moment, but thinking about negative things that may have happened. Now, there's a famous saying, which is somebody may have done something to us once, but every time we run that, experience in our minds then we're actually doing it to ourselves you know because somebody else might have done something to us once but we could run it hundreds of thousands of times in our mind that person then are they really to blame because we are running that experience in our mind so what does it mean to have a good clean mental diet well i'm gonna i can only bring it back to my experience of this so for me personally i'm very aware of what it is that i'm watching what am I watching on the telly? You know, I used to really be into my soaps. I used to really be into my dramas and my serials. And then um, I studied the mind and how the mind works. And from there, I don't watch anything like that anymore. So I will only watch um, information that is, I feel that is good for my mind, something that's positive. I'll watch my comedies. Um, I'm not watching my serials and my dramas anymore because you know what? There can be enough drama going on in real life. And does the mind actually know the difference when you're watching something on the screen? If it's gripping you, you know, if you're sat at the edge of the seat, if your whole body's gone tense, is that actually good for our well-being? You know, um, you know, and myself as well. Previously, I used to get quite a bit of a, a thrill from watching this stuff, uh, the thrillers, the suspense, even the horrors until I understood how my mind worked and the effect that that was even having on my body. So we have this uh, fight or flight system in the body that's been there with us from the beginning. And there was a time where we really needed this flight or fight system. Um, because say, for example, if we were confronted with a wild animal back in the day when we were living a lot more primitive lives, um, if we were confronted by a wild animal, that flight or fight system would kick in where we would make a decision, are we going to run or are we going to fight? Now, say, for example, whichever whichever decision we went with, that adrenaline would kick in. You know, the hormone hormonal response would be there in our body to support that. But do we really need that today? You know, what is the chances that we're going to be confronted with a wild animal? Well, you might be thinking, well, hang on, Pam, why are you going down this road? Well, this is why, because when we're watching something on the TV that might not be um, calming, relaxing, funny, that might be, you know, triggering emotional responses in us, such as suspense or, you know, being on edge, being a bit jumpy, what's going to happen next is that flight or fight system, that biological system that is being activated. And of course, we produce more of the stress hormone when we're like that, which is the cortisol. And that, of course, leads on to having other negative effects in the body. So very good morning to you. If you've just joined me, I'm seeing some of these comments coming in. So uh, great to have you with me um, at Art Core this morning. And we're bringing, bringing for you the Stay Connected Mindful Moments um, project. 
So, you know, how do we fill our minds with a good mental diet? Because, of course, we may have had a lot of negative stuff in there, especially recently, you know, whether it's the news, whether it's the newspapers, there's been a very negative situation happening in the world with the current pandemic. So how do we counteract that in terms of our mental balance, in terms of our mental well-being? You know, I have clients, I have people saying to me, Pam, you know what, I'm not feeling great. I'm trying to exercise, I'm eating well, I'm sleeping well, but I'm still not feeling great because I'm hearing about what's going on and it's just not helping me. So, um, you know, to that, I would respond, respond and say, okay, what's happening with that mental diet? So first of all, be aware of what are you watching? What are you allowing to go into your mind? You know, keep those updates small when it comes to the news so that you're aware of what's happening, but not fitting the whole mind with that. And then bring in the positives. So another great way of doing this is to um, play affirmations. Now. There's lots of affirmations on YouTube as well for free. And this is really giving ourselves that good mental diet. So, you know, all you need to do is press play and listen to it whether you're listening to it in the background as you get going through your day whether it's something you know, there's affirmations that you can be playing through the sleep so the subconscious mind is taking it on as you sleep um, there's many different affirmations now it may be your affirmation might be i am healthy um, i'm successful i'm happy I'm calm. There's a very strong mind and body connection as well. We know this because when we think I'm stressed, the body tenses up, the muscles will tense up. You may feel some tension here or wherever it is that you hold that tension. So of course we can have the opposite effect to that as well by telling ourselves all this good stuff. And I don't know who remembers um, the, the sitcom that used to come on. Some mothers do have them. Um, and there was a chap in that, I can't remember his name right now, but there was a chap in that and he used to look in the mirror every single day and he used to say every, every single day he used to look at himself and he'd say, I get better and better. So why not look at yourself every single day in the mirror and tell yourself that you get better and better, you're healthier, um, healthier and healthier every moment of every day, you're getting stronger, you know, you're going from strength to strength, tell yourself this good stuff. Um, it can't hurt, can it? And it gives us that good mental diet. Again, um, there's lots of videos if you want to want help with that mental diet that I have put out as well on my YouTube. There's this six week series that we're doing here at ArtCore. So this is the second week of it. But every Monday I'm going to be bringing you um, um, this, these videos. Now I've just had somebody comment, good morning everybody if you just joined me, just had somebody comment saying exercise is good too. Absolutely, exercise is a must. I think it's fantastic for the body and for the mind and I have covered it already this morning. We had a little Facebook interruption, um, the Wi-Fi went, but you can watch that video back. I'm talking about the benefits of exercise in that. Now finally, you know what, clean living. Um, what does it really mean? So, you know what, there's this over lockdown, there's a saying that, you know, people are either going to come out a hunk, a chunk or a drunk. So which one are you? Which one are you putting yourself in that category? Are you that hunk? And this is going out to the ladies as well. Are you the chunk or are you the drunk? So it's easy to turn to food and alcohol through this time, but it can, of course, have a negative effect on our health. So just a couple of tips there, um, you know, rather than eating that whole box of chocolates, just tell yourself you're just going to have the one or maybe the two, you know, but limit it, you know, rather than just, you know, pouring out the gin or whatever it is that you might be drinking, you know, use a measure. Um, so that you know that you're only having a certain amount and really, you know, limit it down, increase the good stuff, make a list of all the good stuff that you could be putting in your body, all the good habits that you could be forming, all the great things that you could be doing. I mean, I myself, um, some of you know that um, I was on a, a low sugar diet. I was really I did on diet, um, a few weeks ago and I only had mild symptoms. Now, was it down to my lifestyle choices? We'll never know. But for me, um, you know, I had those mild symptoms. Um, but my mindset was always, I was going to come out of this lockdown stronger and healthier than ever before. So what's your mindset? Are you going to progress through the rest of this year, um, 2020, getting stronger, getting healthier? Are you going to look back and tell your kids, tell your grandkids that, yes, we went through this worldwide pandemic, but I came out of it healthier than ever? Or are you going to, you know, look back and think, well, you know what, I kind of hit the bottle and I did this and I did that. And there's lots of support available for you um, if you need help. 
um you know there's a lot of helplines out there there's a lot of charities working that you know contact your gp if there is any kind of medical issues but uh, we here are just here to help every monday with some healthy tips as part of that stay connected project um you can as well watch these videos back artcore is doing a lot to stay connected um with the people now i'm going to just um, mention this number to you um where if you want to get in touch with artcore here it's 01 332-384-561. So that's 01-332-384-561. And that is um, to get through to Art Core here. There's somebody here all day on Mondays as part of staying connected. So Art Core is making sure that it's staying connected with the people that, that access and use Art Core. And if you're new, to Art Court through this video, then uh, you're welcome as well. If you need that support, then please do contact them on 01332 384 561. Lots of things happening at Art Court at the moment. Lots of art projects as, as well, of course. Um, you know, there's um, online uh, Facebook sessions, craft sessions that are available, which are there um, on their Facebook page. So do check that out. I myself am running mindfulness classes that's happening every um saturday morning well i'm doing it for the next two saturdays anyway for the next two saturdays i'm running a mindfulness class um you know it's very cheap only a few quid so i've made it accessible to everybody you can see the details of that on my page pam sidhu but it's on zoom so location is not an issue i'm actually finding these zoom classes to be quite good lots of great feedback are coming back from them so if you'd like to join me there you're more than welcome but that's it for us to for, from us today here at art core so i will catch you same time next week for some more mindful moments see ya